Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and I hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Trisha. I'm a cool mama and a young wife. And in today's video, I have a product purchase review for you guys. Let me just go ahead and say, I have made a couple videos like these before and so I was like, why not make another one? If you are on the hunt for some vintage items, where to look and what was successful for me. So if you wanna see, my Louis Vuitton vintage wallet, then keep on watching. You don't want to miss this. If you watched my other video, I did most, the last uh, wallet I purchased was a Burberry wallet. I'm going to show it to you in a second. In case you haven't seen that video, check it out. I love that wallet, but I used it a lot and it was starting to show. So I wanted to go ahead and get another wallet. And that is how I came across the Louis Vuitton international wallet and i know that the name is a lot longer than that but i know it's called the international wallet for sure they don't make this anymore um it has the look of the sarah wallet i believe as far as the front but there are some differences um and again the biggest difference is the trifold so this is the wallet i purchased this on mercari and it was authenticated by a third party. I don't play that game, especially when I'm spending my coins. Um, so I definitely want to check that out. What I loved about this wallet, obviously, was the trifold feature. But I loved how pristine this wallet was in as far as the condition. Like, I think the person may have um, recoded the a lot, recoded the siding, and if not, that's good too still like this wallet I have to put the date code on here because I can't really see it but I'll show you where it's at um but this wallet is is years old um like I said they don't make this wallet anymore I'm not sure what year they stopped making it but I would at least say like 2010 um but I love it you guys and I wanted like I said I just I bought Burberry last time and I just I've always wanted Louis Vuitton you know items and so I definitely wanted to take my time and getting more pieces um, and start with the wallets. So yes, so here is the front of the wallet. And again, I just love how clean this wallet looks. Um, the gold on the hardware is still very much so um, new looking, I would say. It hasn't tarnished in any way. It's not, it's not fading um at all so that was something that i noticed and paid attention to again i paid attention to the siding of the wallet um whether or not somebody realigns and repaints it I, that doesn't bother me um i just want it to not look like it's chipping or fading or wearing you know what i mean i want it to look like it's a new wallet i mean it's new to me again this is a vintage wallet so i don't make these anymore um, and so that's something that I just wanted to pay attention to when purchasing this wallet. There are no stains of any kind on this wallet. There's no like fading on any of the checker print. This is the Damier or Damier of Bean print. Um, I definitely, I, I wanted this print versus the monogram. Um, and that's just something that I wanted for myself. But everything just looks so good for it to be a used item um so let's go ahead and look on the inside of it so it does have the louis vuitton made in paris right here the stamping here and then it just drops and this is what the inside looks like um so i also saw somewhere that this was noted as a checkbook wallet now i don't think it the louis vuitton gave it that title i don't believe they did because when i was trying to look for it, i didn't see it i saw like reviews where people would say this is a checkbook wallet um hence the pen a holder right here and then I don't know if a checkbook would actually fit in here um I don't I don't have checks <laughs> a lot of people don't nowadays um, I have a pen actually right here because it, it just seemed like it was I didn't want it to tear this part right here so I decided to put the pen in here you can put receipts in here I've done that you can put extra cards in here I've done that um a little bit of anything that fits in here it does have tight shut um button there and then on the back in the bottom on the back of this part of the wallet there's another compartment here it doesn't go all the way down it's not like the josephine wallet it does stop short but it does have an extra pocket in the back um again receipts money whatever you want to put back there cards i put cards back here um, i did take all my stuff out for this review because i did just want to do a clean cut of this wallet 
And then as you can see, you do have card slots here. The cards are a little tight when I put them in and take them out. That's one reason why I think I put cards back here because um, it, it can take a little bit of time to get your cards out of the compartments right here. And then I do tend to put some money. I don't have, again, I don't have anything in this wallet right now, but I do tend to put money in this back pocket. This wallet is very roomy. Um, as you can see, you can put a lot of ins and outs of things in this wallet. Again, I was really looking for a trifold wallet. That was one of my criteria is looking for a wallet this time around um, because I didn't have a trifold wallet last time. Um, the Josephine wallet is the reason that I started looking and then I just found this was more of affordable item, affordable pricing. The Josephine wallet retailed usually a really good condition, almost pristine, is still a solid four to five hundred dollars. Um, Again, depending on the condition of it. And this one, I paid just at $300 for it. So I felt like this was a fair price. There were other sites that I came across. There's a seller on Etsy. She has authentic um, Louis Vuitton vintage pieces, vintage pieces only, I believe. She was, hers that she had for sale looked very similar to this, but hers didn't look as pristine. It, and I appreciated that she had a lot of pictures of like the just over time wear and tear this one by far even when I compared it to fashion file real real and Tracy this one still had the best condition for the price I mean I was blown away when I came across this wallet for $300 on Mercari um I was just again floored like it just looks like it if you didn't know this was a vintage piece it would look as if it was brand new like minus I did just now see like this right here in the flash with the light led lighting but i didn't even know you can't tell it in person this all looks the same is what i'm trying to say and again the pen holder still looks good um i would just i don't know if you have questions about mercari and purchasing off mercari the main thing i would say is look for the diamond the diamond uh, in each of the pictures uh, it represents that it is already authenticated you can request to have it authenticated but i believe it's a fee maybe like five or ten dollars i think or the seller could have it um authenticated when they publish the item which i think that's the smartest thing because i think that's what a lot of people look for is authenticity that's me like i don't really like to pay too much attention to items that are not already authenticated that are luxury pieces just because i want to be sure that if i'm paying the money i want it to be real you know what i mean so I know you think $300 is a lot for a wallet, but y'all, I use my Burberry wallet all year. Like, I didn't switch it. Let me just show you. It did come with a dust bag. This is what the dust bag looks like. Um, but I use this Burberry wallet when I say all year long. When I posted the video on this wallet, I didn't change this wallet out until I got this one. So I'm just keeping that in mind. This wallet has lasted me 365 days. And, um... It was just time for me to get a new one. Like I said, this one was starting to wear a little bit, as you can see right here. And I just was kind of like, oh, Lord, let me go ahead and change it out. So um, I did come across, again, this one. Yeah. Again, this is the Louis Vuitton International Wallet. And again, I just wanted to share with you guys this wallet and how it went for me using Mercari and just what I looked for when it came to buying a authentic luxury vintage item. Um, let me know if you have any questions on, you know, again, looking for pre-loved items vintage or not um what i look for tips and tricks and i will be meeting you guys in the comment section with all your comments and questions if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i'll catch you guys next time bye guys